Hey guys and gals, this is Bloggy of the Broken Legion of Gamers, and here's another another episode of Bloggy's Chop Shop. I tried filming one for you guys yesterday using this 61 Impala, and it would have been a it was gonna be a good long video. I think it was 39 minutes long, and in that video I taught you how to I was teaching you how to put the armor plating over the windows, what I used to do that, and how to do the mesh over the the front windows, but something happened with my phone, and um, when it when I went to go put it up, they said there was an error with the video. Then I went to go watch the video back, and they said something like encryption area with encryption error with the video. So whatever. In this video, for the front window, I'll teach you guys how to put the mesh on in the front window. Then I'm gonna teach you a couple other things for this 61 Impala, <clears throat> but let's get going. This way, this video is another 40 minute video. For, to mesh out the windows, I use this plastic mesh and that's not gonna quite fit. So we're gonna cut that away, use and put that as scrap. We'll probably find a car that we'll be able to use that for. Maybe to mesh out side windows or something. But I was like starting with what's almost what's essentially a fresh piece of mesh. And you can use your regular plastic clippers to cut this stuff. It's actually really freaking good. So mm -hmm. for this, <clears throat> we're gonna go one, two, three, four up, and then we'll cut right there. Yeah, four up. Four up, we cut this. This just gets us basically the regular, basically the general measurement of the window. And then we can, we trim it to fit, well, we can trim it to fit afterwards. Usually I mark it out with a fine tip Sharpie, but my double sided Sharpie with the fine tip has been missing. So this we could actually just to make it look like it's been cut to fit. We'll go like that, like that, and then Maybe we can get, uh, where's my hobby knife? Right there. We can trim this down even better with the hobby knife. And always remember to cut away from yourself. Don't do what I just did. Just to get this a lot, a little bit nicer and more uniform. This is actually doing this is actually just like an optional thing. You don't really have to do this. You can just go with it with the little bits on the bottom. But I like getting a nice close fit. Okay, yeah, that fits real nice. So now we apply the crazy glue. And this is pretty much the biggest pain of doing this. And this is an empty, empty bottle. So we'll move on to a fresh bottle of super glue. Because the unfortunate truth is and I also left that one open overnight. So, yeah, that's what happens when you leave it open overnight. The unfortunate truth is, this stuff also normally doesn't go very far. Now, to open up a, the bottle of Loctite, you gotta click it 
Actually, it's a lot easier to click when you have the cap on. That actually punctures. It's essentially a foil pack inside this nice bottle. Okay. And... Okay, there's the glue. Get a nice bead going along the top there. And any excess glue, this is, <clears throat> these are wasteland cars. Any excess, and get a nice, get bead going along the bottom. I don't normally glue, glue along the sides. I probably should, but I don't. But any excess glue and yeah, this would have been fine. I don't know what I was thinking. And then you just hold it in place for 10 seconds, maybe. Maybe press it down and curve it a little bit like it would be a regular window. As I said, this is the the most annoying part of doing Gaslands cars, getting this mesh to stick to where the windows are. Okay, we'll leave that like that because... No. Let's try this again. And leave that to dry. Because, yeah. Now, you can also get that, get that tighter and everything, but I like it being a little, looking like it's a little bit over, overdone. Now, next, we're going to remove the wheels from the chassis. Because I'm going to teach you guys something that I like to do with all, all of my cars. Yeah, they always attach the front wheels better than the rear for some reason. And if you want to make sure that they go in, go back in a lot better, run a file through that. Now, I'm not going to be... What I like to do so that on the game board the wheels don't roll. Throw yourself a nice little dollop of super glue on that part of the axle. Pull that like that. And then... Then... Super glue on the other part of the axle. I like, I actually like glue in my rims and tires. This way, on the tip, if someone bump, when I'm, when I start getting my group to play, if someone bumps the table, I don't want my cars rolling off the table. And it just helps. But it, this is just an easier, this way you don't gotta put your cars on. 
back to this again, I see. <clears throat> this just keeps the cards from rolling around the table if the table gets bumped or something. And then after, I'm going to, well, I'm later on, I'm going to tape up this, the actual bumpers. And then I'm going to prime this and actually paint, paint, base coat this black and paint all the metal parts and lead belcher. So I'm not going to glue these back on. But then you glue the wheel into he here, and the car will not roll. I still got to take this apart. I have these glued, but I didn't glue the axles into the car, and it still rolls a little bit. So, yeah. So this is how you glue your wheels so the car doesn't roll. And now on to the last thing we're going to do in this video. And I'm really upset that I'm really, really upset that I didn't, that I wasn't able to get the video going for, have this video, the video for all this stuff put up and we'll check this. Now look, our mesh, our mesh is nice and glued in place and you got, or it was until I started messing with it. Okay. I'll put this over here. I'm going to leave that be. But you see, there's some excess super glue. Just, just paint that gray and silver. And you can say that's the actual welding. Oh. But you guys get the drift on how to do that. I'll, I'll glue that another time. Let me make sure I'm not gluing this to my paint stand. Or I'll just throw this out and start over from scratch. Maybe cut it a little smaller. Maybe I made it a little too big. I don't know. But that's how you do that. And you guys will probably be more precise and better. Now the next thing. I want to add a driver to this car. And the drivers, the driver I'm going to use for this car is one of the drivers from the Implements of Carnage. So what do I got to do? I got to cut the three three pieces off the sprue and clean them up and glue them onto the, the car. But <clears throat> there's also a small modification that needs to be made to the interior of the car. That small modification is with the implements of carnage driver. He's got a steering wheel in his hand already. Steering wheel that looks an awful lot like a hubcap turned into a steering wheel. If you get a good look at that. If you ask me, that looks like a hubcap turned into a steering wheel. But that's just me. So what you got to do is you got to cut out the steering wheel. And I'm not just going to go right to cut in the post. Because the, po <clears throat> the post has to stay. The post has to stay. So what we're going to do is take the steering wheel out in chunks. And cut it away in chunks. And look. You still have a little bit of the post necessary to glue the steering wheel to. This way the steering wheel can actually connect to the steering linkage. So that part's done. Let's clean off our three pieces and then get to gluing. And this guy's safety first. He's actually wearing a seatbelt in a death race. Yeah, that's real... That's actually kind of smart, I guess. I don't know. If I'm being, if I'm in a death race trying to get onto Mars and get off of Earth, I'm not going to be too concerned about wearing a seatbelt.
Okay. Some mold line, or is that no? That's a de that's a detail line. Okay. He's wearing microphones for like a communication system. Oopsie. My bad. Oopsie doopsie. Now the only problem with 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 working with models this small, sometimes it's hard to tell the difference between a mold line and actual detail. Okay, that's that's detail, so that doesn't need to be cleaned up. Which I'm not surprised because the comp the company that made the instruments of Carnage sprues, they did a real good job actually making these and there's very little mold lines. Okay. Now, now it's time to glue, glue in the driver. And actually, to make things easier, I'm actually going to glue the torso into the feet first and then use the torso as my whole gripping point because, as you can see, I was dropping the, um, I was dropping the legs without the torso attached, so maybe it'll be easier with the actual torso connected so I'll put a little dollop of plastic glue oh. the only problem with the with these applicator tips is they clog up really easily especially when you're cheap like me and you like using it the applicator tips for multiple projects. Okay. Okay, so that's glued on. Let's, I don't know why I closed the super glue, because we're going to need the super glue to. Glue this guy onto that plastic. I don't think this. I don't think this is hard plastic. I think this skin definitely needs super glue, not plastic glue. So I'm not even gonna bother wasting my time with the plastic glue. Let's get some super glue on this. Let's get this guy and put glued in place. If I could stop dropping him or her, I don't know which. No. I don't even know if that's even in the right spot at this moment. So we're going to glue the arms on and make sure he gets all nice and straight. And then we'll put the top of the, then we'll put the car back together to make sure he fits with the top on. I don't see why he wouldn't, but you never know. Oh, that was way too much glue, but that excess glue will be hidden by the actual arms themselves. And for some reason, he is not sticking with the super glue. <clears throat> so this is what we're gonna do. Put a crap ton of super glue on the seat. Now we have, now we know the way he's gotta be facing.
Part of me wishes I was working with resin right now. Not having high hopes for this driver, to tell you the truth. I don't even think he's going to actually fit in with the top on. He might, but he probably won't. Okay, and now let's start getting the car back together. These are the rear wheels. Here's the front wheels. And like I said, I'm not having high hopes that that this guy's going to fit in the actual vehicle. And we're going to keep the glass out because we don't really need it. And he just fits in. Yeah, he's going to just fit in. So we'll leave him all... Leave him right here all nicey nice to dry. And then we'll put the carb together at a later date. But <clears throat> that's all for this one, guys. Um, later on down the road, I'll do a tutorial on how I do the armor plating on the windows. And this is just, I want to show you guys generally how I do some stuff. And just a fun little build video for for a car, the car I used for the tutorial for, oh, no, you're supposed to stay glued. Okay, it looks like I, that doesn't even look like there's any glue there, so, but, yeah, th this is glued perfectly, and this one wheel is glued perfectly. Let's, while we're at it, and we still got the glue open, let's glue that wheel. And let's glue that wheel, and then we'll call this a video. <clears throat> I really thought I got this one. Uh, maybe I glued this one twice. Okay, we'll leave this like this to dry. We'll leave all this stuff to dry. And I still got the front mesh to do, but you guys have a general idea of how to do the front mesh on the windows now. And then the next time we come back, we come back to this car, we'll be painting it. That's it for this one, guys. Have a nice day. If you like what you saw, hit that thumbs up button. If you <clears throat> are new to the channel and you like what you saw and you want to see future glass, Gaslands content, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be notified anytime I put up a, another video in the future. Um, and as always, support local wargaming whenever possible here at the channel we support toy Wiz in nanuet new york on route 59 right across the street of the from the dunkin donuts you guys have a nice day